In the first installment, I talked about using the box design tool to design a subwoofer box. In this installment, I'll talk about using the port design tool to design the port for a ported enclosure. Last time we entered the teal and small parameters FS, QTS, and VAS for the subwoofer that we picked, which was the Infinity 1252W. And for the uh, ported boxes, we went with the recommended port frequency that the software provided, and we put it in this box here. So now let's design the uh, port for that 2 cubic foot box. We'll click on the port design tab here, put in 2 cubic feet for the box volume. For the port frequency, we'll put in 19.7 hertz. We'll use a single port and the port inner diameter we see a hint that appears here which says use a port diameter at least one-third the woofer diameter for best results well this is a 12 inch sub so that would be four inches well the calculated port length is almost 41 inches that's way too long to fit in a two cubic foot subwoofer box yeah, even with uh, elbows that uh, would let you do some uh, snaking of the uh, port inside. This is just not practical length. So, how can we get this length to a more practical value? Well, the first thing we can do is throttle back on the uh, port inner diameter. Even though 4 inches is recommended, we can knock that down to 3 and uh, you can see that uh, it almost cuts the port length in half so this is probably a good compromise to make. The uh, next thing we can try is increasing the port frequency and right now it's 19.7 let's try uh, 25 and see what happens. Well that uh, gives us some more improvement now we're at 13, a little over 13 inches and that's probably doable in a two cubic foot box. So let's see what uh, effect this uh, port tuning change will have on the box design. So we'll go back to the box design tool. Let's clean up the mess here a little bit. We can get rid of uh, some of these curves that we really don't need to see. So I'll just uh, deselect them. update the plot. So all we have now is the uh, two cubic foot uh, box uh, with the 19.7 uh, hertz port tuning. So let's add a curve on here which is uh, the 25 hertz port frequency. So add a new data set. We can give that a label. Um, FB equals 25. Add it to the, pl the uh, plot, and uh, what we see is it's not too big of a change. We can see that the uh, cutoff frequency, the uh, minus 3 dB frequency, actually improved a little bit. It went from uh, about 31 hertz down to 29 and a half. Uh, the second difference you'll notice is we have a little bit more peaking here, another dB peaking at around 50 hertz or so and um, you don't want too much peaking but uh, a dB or two is not a bad thing especially if it's at a low frequency like 50 hertz so this is not a problem and this is a good compromise to get that uh, port length to the uh, reasonable much more reasonable length of 13 inches